So IEEE 2030, which was just approved September 10th, uh, was ratified by the Standards Board Association, uh, Standards Board, uh, was, and now it's an actual officially approved standard uh, and was published on the same day. Uh, basically, it provides a common reference model and it allowed uh, power engineers, IT engineers, communications engineers to come together in a collaborative environment and develop a, a knowledge base that gives a frame uh, reference model uh, for common terms and understanding for the interfaces within the smart grid. Uh, so within that, IEEE 2030 identifies the interfaces that need to be implemented for the smart grid. And while identifying those interfaces, provides a methodology for uh, the requirements of those interfaces so that the power engineers, the communications engineers, and the IT engineers can all talk the same language and identify the technologies needed to implement those interfaces. Um, you know, it's, it's one of a kind right now, and it's the first to allow these communities to come together and provide this reference model uh, to allow the terms of reference and understanding to be at the same level. Uh, so we feel that the uh, IEEE 2030 is, is globally relevant, can apply to any implementation and situation that's out there. It's scalable. Um, the ability to uh, you know, fit it into the situation that you're implementing. So for China, uh, when they look at the, the challenges that they're doing and they're looking to transmit uh, energy long distances and they're going to need to identify those interfaces and the requirements necessary to allow that to happen and to be able to control and monitor those those energy needs for China. So P20, so IEEE 2030 actually provides a methodology for those interfaces, provides a methodology to identify the requirements for those interfaces and allows those uh, engineers in part of the utility whether it's the power, the IT, and the communications guys, to come together and collaborate to identify what they need, what their needs are, and the requirements for those interfaces.